Makeup ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another workout. used to wear the hijab uh, and I used to wear the hijab many <laughs> moons ago so 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 long ago I'm 31 today and I wore it in my uh, I started in my pre-teens and into my teens uh, teen years and and then I took the hijab off and that was my own decision a to put it on and b to take it off again <laughs> but yeah um, so I knew that what I wanted to do was so away from everything that I was sort of representing in my wear and so for that reason I thought it's more important for me to experiment it's more important to me to run down my horns and then if God wills it I will come back in and find my religion again and that was a really big part of me and it's also again and I have to say it's not because I'm like blaming my dad or anything like that because that's not what it is but I, I, I take my hat off to my dad because he always has always been uh, the person who says you find your religion and you have to figure out what's right for you it's not because I'm telling you to be a Muslim that would be great but you have to figure out whether or not Islam is the right thing for you and he's always been sort of like open about how he found Islam for himself he was a Christian as I said I think born into a Christian household and then he was I think a Hindu and a Buddhist and like he, he experimented until he found Islam and he understands the importance of doing so and because of he, his stories and telling me all of this I knew that I had to do the same thing so it wasn't necessarily because alcohol was just pulling me and having sex was pulling me to do all these it was literally I needed to make sure that I had run down my horns and tried what I needed to try in life before I could wear the hijab and represent with that so uh, I made the decision that I wanted to take off the hijab so I could experiment with all the things I wanted to experiment with and I wanted to do it without misrepresenting the hijab and then get get all of that out of my system and then just pray to God that he would not close my heart off to Islam uh, in its entirety and I remember I was sitting in the car I can't remember where I'd been my dad had picked me up I think from a friend's house and I just said to him dad I've given it some thought and I think I want to take off the hijab and again a lot of people would probably look at, at my dad well not if they knew my dad but like think oh your dad's an imam he must have had a fit uh, but he didn't. He wasn't like, oh my god, how dare you? No, blasphemy. Da, da. He was just like, you know what? This is still your choice. This is your body. This is your faith. You do what's right for you. You do how, whatever feels like the right thing for you to do. And so I went home and I sent it to my mum as well. And she was like, all right, well, you were young when you put it on kind of thing. And my whole family was so supportive with it. And basically from the next day, I started going out without the hijab on. <laughs> 